Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to make a nice looking heating stream. So let's get right to it. This is a program I'm using called OBS. I'm using version 22.0.3. That doesn't really matter, but I'm using on a Mac, which notoriously handles OBS not as well as Windows computers. So keep that in mind. Um, and Streamlabs OBS is basically the same thing as OBS. It's just a much fancier version. Um, but either way, you're using the same program at the core. So what you want to start with is you really want to have four main elements in your cubing stream. You want to have a cube cam, you want to have your times or your timer shown, you want to have um, an alert box, and the fourth one is kind of optional. You don't necessarily need it, but a face cam. Um, so let's talk about how to add each and every one of those elements. You want to first start with a display capture of some sort. You don't have to start with it, but let's just call it timer. Oopsie. Wow, that is very big. Um, so I have two monitors, and this is my second one. So you guys can't really see how I'm doing this, but it's okay. So what you can do is you can crop the corners by doing like, um, by pressing option on Mac or control or alt, I think on Windows. And that way you can easily, you know, crop it like this. And if you don't hold it, it'll just get bigger or smaller. Um, let's see. So if we do something like that, I have Streamlabs open because I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, but I have my CS timer open here. Sorry about the very, very bright green, but I'll explain why I have that later. Um, so let's just say this is our cube cam, not cube cam, my, your timer cam. Uh, let's just say we want just the timer, just for now, for simplicity's sake. Um, and let's just put it over here or something. Uh, so that'll be there, our timer. And what we're going to have now is we're going to add a cube cam. Let's just call everything what it is for simplicity's sake. Um, I have two cameras uh, hooked up. I have my webcam, which is this guy. So we're going to do that. So hello, everybody. Um, and we're going to put this, like we're going to drag it vertically below the timer so that when you drag it around, it's under the timer screen, which is kind of what you want. You don't really want it to bleed over. Um, but this is going to be basically your biggest thing on your stream. Um, you either want it to fill up your whole screen or the majority of it. Uh, the biggest bad thing that I see in newer streamers, specifically cubing streams, is these two screens are switched. You have the like the person and the cube cam like way down here, and then you have this huge space filled up just by like CS timer. And let's be honest, no one wants to watch that. No one wants to see CS timer going from zero to whatever many seconds. They want to see you cubing. So you want to have this, the timer itself be smaller than the cube cam, um, than what that rectangle is taking up. So now let's add a, um, a face cam, because if you, if you do have the means to have that, like, you know, a second camera, if you have a second webcam or you're using one that's built in, like me, oh, hello, there's, there's me. Um, so let's crop some of me out, because we don't want to see my shoulders, those are disgusting. Um, so now we have a nice, cool webcam, uh, face cam, I mean, and I know it looks like I'm looking off to the side, but I'm just looking off to my second monitor. So as you can see, we have a nice already, like pretty cool layout, uh, pretty simple. This is just three elements. Uh, the only reason you're seeing this fourth one is because it's what I'm using to record, but you have this. And now the question is, how do I get an alert box. How do I see like an animation when somebody follows or somebody subscribes or somebody, I don't know, raids? Uh, the way you do that is you add source and you click browser. And let's just say this is alert box. Got something like that. Hello. Um, so it has an automatic link. I don't know what this is. But what you want to do is you want to, oh, not right click. You want to double click on it. Um, and this URL is basically what it displays. So if you delete it and replace it with your alert box URL, which the way you find it is you go into your Streamlabs. But yeah, right here, as you can see, I'm on Streamlabs. I have logged in, it's at streamlabs.com. You just log into your Twitch account. And what you wanna do here is go down to this left little sidebar thing, click alert box. And then here, uh, you'll basically have your URL 
which is hidden to you know protect privacy. I'm not going to show it, but you can copy it without showing it, which is pretty cool. So let's copy that. And I have my alert box. Let's double click on that. Paste the URL. And now it's going to look like nothing. It just looks like an empty box. Uh, but that box will become the default animation, like this little zombie walking um, when you get a follow. So maybe someone will co coincidentally follow while I'm making this tutorial. Why do I have like zero water in my bottle? That is so frustrating. I have to go downstairs and fill up my water bottle. But that's not the point. What you want to do um, now is celebrate because you have now incorporated the four basic elements you need for a, a pretty nice looking cubing stream. Obviously, this doesn't look, you know, like amazing Red Bull Championships $10,000 quality stream, but it looks pretty good. Like, this is all you need, pretty much. Um, now, a lot of people have been asking me, how do I make it so that the background in CS Timer is not visible, so you don't see this color? You just want to see the number like you you can like move it around and, f and have it float um, and look good so the way you do that is you double click on timer i'm sorry you don't double click you right click on timer you go to filters and here you have all these little cool options i mean you don't see them but if you click the plus sign uh, what you want to click is i think chroma key either color key or chroma key i think i use chroma key um and what that does is i've already set it to green so that's why my cs timer is green so you can change it to blue and as you can see all the blues on my cs timer now get filtered out like on the draw scramble it looks a lot you know weirder if i filter out magenta it does that now you can, and you can do custom select your color and sort of we pick whatever color you want whatever your cs timer background is um i i picked green so that it would be the easiest on my computer because i think it's easier to filter out green i'm not i don't know but i just made it green for you know, simplicity. And now look at that. It's just your timer floating around. It's just that. And it looks really clean. So you can, oops, you can put it like up here, you can put it down here, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, this is basically like all you really need. Um, and now we're going to transition so you can see what it fully looks like. And look at that. We got a nice old, nice old cubing stream. What's up guys? Let's do a T-perm. Oops. Let's do a T-perm. Do, 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 do. My computer's lagging because it's a Mac and it doesn't know how to handle anything over 3% GPU power. But other than that, that should be pretty much it for getting a bare bones cubing stream. If you want to add all sorts of like little widgets and stuff, like you can go to Streamlabs and put more browser links or stuff like that. Or Streamlabs OBS, if you have that and if your computer can handle that, it actually allows you much easier to like insert these things like alert box, like chat, um, I don't know, some other stuff like animations. And uh, yeah, I hope that helps, and I hope you guys in are inspired to stream, or this makes it easier for you guys to stream. Um, I haven't gotten into how to actually start streaming, but that's a that's kind of a different video. You really just have to put in your key, um, which you get from like the Twitch website, and then put it into the settings tab. Um, but I don't want to show you my key. It's hidden, but it's I don't want I don't want to risk it. But yeah, I have been streaming on Twitch for like pretty much a month now every day. No, not a month, like a few weeks. But I'm streaming pretty much every day. Um, and if, if it's not every day, then if you're in my Discord server, you'll you'll know when I'm not streaming. But I'm pretty much streaming every day on Twitch at around 4 to 6 p.m. EST. Uh, so if you want to join in then, you can watch my wonderfully horrible 20 FPS stream because, again, my MacBook does not know how to do anything that isn't like AFK Minecraft. Um, but... Yeah, I hope this helped, and that's it for the video. Peace.